guys, my name is Annabella. Some of you might know me from Facebook, uh, and uh, this is Asifue TV. We are at Fellowship. We had our big concert today.
tunaamua kutumia hiyo hii wakati and we choose to use it for this one ukiwe theme itakuongoza mwaka mzima and we are asking for you to be the theme we guide you the whole year we want you to wear it sila so we want you to wear kidogo shindane na muove shindane so that you can fight against and this thing remind me one thing you know i'm come from the war place na toka congo i'm from congo na kuna kulipa vita sana paka vinaendelea hapo kuna man is a war since when i left until now na wakati vita vilikuja congo and when the war came to congo nilikuwa bukavu kwa masomo i was in bukavu in in school na niliona kitu cha ajabu hapo and i saw a uh, amazing thing wakati kabila ishachukua bukavu when kabila already took bukavu eh, kuna mobutu alikuja na ndege zake mobutu came with his plane mimi niliona hiyo na macho i saw that with my own eyes siku ambili wa bari no one told me nikaona ndege tatu zinakuja zili za vita so three airplanes zilikuwa siku na speed ya ajabu and they had a, a, a lot of speed na zinaangusha mabombi hapo and they were just up dropping down bombs. kuna kitu kilinishangaza hapo there's one thing that amazed me kuna waskari wa moja there was some armies walikuwa wakivaa tena askari they had a uh, army uh, uniform. uniform kumbe ndani but inside them wana nguo ya uraia they had a uh, um, civilian clothes yeah, ile tena kwa kitu tu just the uniform was on uh, on top hata ndana na nguo ya uraia inside was a uh, civilian clothes wakati mbuta na nguo hizo 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 bombe and when mbuta was dropping those bombs nikaona wana nguo ya nguo i saw them i saw them taking them wana kimbe wana kimbia kwenye nyumba za raia and they were running behind ili wasonekano kama ni askari so that no one can see them that they are and they are soldiers ili waona na macho i saw them with my own eyes wana ndoa hizi nguo and they are taking off their wana baki na nguo za uraia and they just left with na wanakimbia kwenye nyumba za 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 and running behind civilians na wengine wa askari ni waona and other soldiers wanakuta wako tayari and they were there ready but as they go up and they were asking where is the plane they told us they go up we are going to uh to bomb the ni kajiuliza sasa and i asked myself kumbe kuna askari ni askari kama vita vijawa and there's a army so wakati vita vina kuta si askari after the war they know lakini ukimwona na vaa huyo But when you see them wearing na ndio wanasumbua sana waskari and those are the one who are waskari wa uongo but they're wrong wanatia nguo ya askari tu they just put a lakini ndio na nguo ya uraia but inside they have kama vita vikija but when they walk out they are not given a cup na they run because they are Christo wengi wanaishi katika neno la and that is how many Christians they were Christo wa kanisa tu they are just Christian of the way they just want to go back to and they are the Christian of the church ribu wanaunguka but when when the temptation wana tumia sana wakati atarifu si hivi wakati atarifu si Kristo when they attempted they are not anatembea ukristo kwa they run wakati jaribu itapita and when they attempted they are not going to come home when the uh, when the temptation pass away they come back theme yetu wa siku ya leo our theme of today on Christ Christian violence put on your um so you close ili mpate so that you can receive kushindana to fight against alisi kusaidia kushindana to fight go overcome to overcome ila za mwisho uh the bino the temptation of setting sita kawia hapa sina maneno mengi i don't have a lot of words when you are not maneno mengi acha hiki na kuch and if you want a lot of things about that i just want to take two two points on that theme nita kwa sababu ya Kristo i'm just going to pick uh, the theme creation na 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 neno ila and the word kwa ingine kiswahili wanasema mbinu nilienda kugongolo hiyo akasema kwa ingine kiswahili wanazita ili mpate kushindana na ila au mpate kushindana na mbinu za Mungu zitani so that you can overcome the temptation of Satan. Nishangapa huo alisema neno la Jesus. I was amazed what Paul said ana sema Kristo. He said Christian. Hapo sema wa Ephesians. No he didn't say Ephesians. Hapo sema wa Raia. He didn't say Ephesians. Alisema neno Kristo. He said the word Christian. Jamani. Biblia ilo neno Kristo na Mungu wake. Ah the word Christian has many things. Mpaka watu 
relationship woman even in Christ. Until you um you are mature in Christian, or some other things. I want to tell you what this. I was begun to beat up the the Waskari. You cannot fight the army or the soldier who the Waskari. If you don't have training, now one at this to you, and even in even the Christian, I was a couple which done a bit of a jaribu will not overcome the damage. Yeah. And if it's not a Christian, I'm just taking that word what is not a Christian. I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? I'm just taking that word. What is not a Christian? Now you, for you to fight against Satan, you have to make sure you're a true Christian. There is two kinds of war. Let me go to the second thing. Uh, the temptation of Satan. Uh, Satan has many ways in his life. Let me tell you one thing. The day that you receive Jesus Christ, the day that you receive Christ as your Lord, you will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be able to fight against Satan. You will not be Put it on and I am not called Christian. Now you are called a Christian. In that name a Christian. Now you are hired. Because Satan doesn't like that name. Now this is a question. That name is that. I was going to ask you about Congo, or maybe you are a Congo. You are just a name. 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 Christian, if you are not Leo the Bible, who go Christian? Because today you will be the side and tomorrow the other side. And when Jesus comes, you will not be ready. Now I'm going to temptation. When you read that in the war, when you read that in the war, when I talk to people, they cannot finish that. There's one thing that works. When you read that, it's not good for you. Don't think that in a war you will have to use all power. Don't think that in a war you have to be older. In a war there's only one thing big. Nimbino. Nimbino. Ways. Nimbino. Ways. Yeah, strategy. That's a strategy. Strategy. When you read the book, it's a strategy. And what you're not going to pick a match, it's a strategy. And if you see someone is a fighter, has ways of fighting. If was the a power that overcome the war, we know for sure that Goliath. Goliath had ways of fighting. He had, uh, he was experienced experience of fighting. He brought ways. He brought a technique. I'm from Congo. A lot of people, a lot of soldiers, they were from when they were home. What do you mean by technique? They have ways. What are technique? They have technique. Fight. Now when you have technique, see, see. And who gives us the technique? And your commander went to. And who is our commander? Jesus Christ. Because you have him in heart, you cannot fight. You will be a Christian and tomorrow you fall. Let me do the project of the war. There is two kinds of war. There is a war of inside and there is a war of outside. The inside 
No one is tempting you. No, never is tempting you. Inside you have a Jesus. Inside you have a Jesus. And even Satan can buy that. Because you have to make sure who's inside you. Who's inside you? 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 Who's in
Okay, guys, thank you for having me today. And uh, I'm going to speak a little bit about myself, and then I'm going to answer your question. Okay, so what I do, he's called me a singer, but I'm not really a singer. I'm kind of like a manager. I support singers. So those upcoming stars, those who are doing the work of God and they need some type of support, I will give them support of probably if you want to do a concert, I'll be able to support you with a place. If you want to uh, have a party or something like that, of course, not any party. It has to be gospel, like Christian party. I'm I'm able to support you even money wise and things like that so i'm pretty much a, i could call me a manager i think you can call that a manager so i have few stars today that uh perform today i have my uh one of my stars uh, named promise joshua promise joshua promise yes. he has more coming up and it's not just him there's a lot of more stars that you perform here at fellowship by the way i am a servant at fellowship dallas that's where that's where we are at this moment kutu kusupport kazi ya Mungu na mjua kama vyenyewe tunafanya sio kwa kwetu sisi ili tuonekana lakini tunapenda tuna message yenyewe tunapeleka ni message zinaweza kuponesha za kufariji katika hii safari yenyewe tuko tuko hapo na mkubwa hapa Joshua ni uzinduzi wake leo wa CD yake inasema Mkristo va silaha wewe Mkristo wewe Vasila, mimi na wewe. Asa, tunaomba tiari imisha kwa sokoni. Mchango wako kidogo kidogo inaweza bariki ili atoe zingine zaidi. Na shukuru sana. Okay, um kitu naenda kusema ndugu mpenda msikizaji kwanza I'm very very happy for it cuz I'm believe boy if this day can be like this. But you know what? Support yako ndo inanifanya mimi niitwe Joshua, support yako ndo inanifanya aitwe Kado. Yeah. Kwa hiyo wewe bila kuwa nyuma yake hatakuwa oh, yeah. mtu. Kwa hiyo kitu kikubwa ambacho ningekuomba toa support wakati nyinyi unapoenda YouTube endelea kushare tufanye kwa sababu sisi ni nguvu za umma. Na kama ni nguvu za umma tunapojifika kwenye vifua tunajua kwamba nyinyi mko nyumba yetu. Kwa hiyo msichoke kutongana msichoke kutusaidia. Kwa hiyo sisi nguvu ambazo tunahitajiwa nguvu zenu na vitu vikali vitatoka kwa Kado kuna collab kali kwa siri nikwambia natoka kwa Jesha Kado na Jesha from lakini sakwambia ni lini usijeka Okay mtumishi Joshua tumeona kazi yako tumekuja watu walikuwa wengi na nataka nikuulize katika hii kazi unaweza ukatwambia gharama gani ambayo ili spend katika hii kazi yote mpaka kufikia leo Um, kitu kikubwa naweza kusema kweli kwenye kazi kuna gharama nyingi kwanza audio zenyewe zinagharimu zaidi ya 400 dollars kumaliza audio video zenyewe ndo siseme like 500 ukijumuisha mesa za karibia 1000 bado hivyo kwenye mavazi ya kushuti nayo mahali takiwa uchenchi mavazi na gharama nyingine ni kwamba kutafuta eneo ni gharama nayo pia kwa sababu uto wa mka moja kwa moja na ndio sehemu fulani kuigaramia ni ile kuitafutia muda ili ifike kwa hiyo kuna gharama nyingi mpaka video kamilishwe video moja inachukua karibu 1500 na 400 na 400 nikikosea hivi okay na kulingana umetuambia una gharama nyingi ulifanya na unaweza kutuambia kadiri unavyofikiria unafikiri una, utarudisha hizo zote gharama ambazo ulifanya kwa uzinduzi huu ama kwa uzaji wa CD unaona unaweza kupata kurudisha hizo gharama ama na kufaidika manini? Um, kitu naweza kusema ni kwamba kwa kweli itakuwa ni vigumu zaidi kwa sababu technology imesha kuwa sasa hivi. Maana ukiangalia CD zinakuwa zinaangaliwa lakini si kama vile zamani. Lakini nafikiri Mungu atatenda hakutakosa kuonekana chochote kile kwa ajili ya kufia nguo maana watu wamejitoa ajalishi mida ilikuwa hivyo lakini watu walikuwa wameshakuwa na msukumo na naamini nitapata tu kiasi. Yeah. Acha Tende kwa upande mwingine ninawaona hapa dada Bella naona kado ninakuona wewe na nyinyi ni waimbaji mashuhuri hapa upande wa Amerika kwa vijana wetu wa kibembe na dada yetu hapo tunaona kazi ambazo mnazifanya ninataka niulize hili swali ni tupate ili wasikilizaji wetu wapate kujua mna mpango gani kwa kufanya kwa sababu kundi ni nyingi na mnafanya ni ile ile kazi moja na hakuna sababu ya kutengana mna mpango gani wa kufanya kitu kimoja siku moja ili mpate kufanya tamasha ambazo zitakuwa mnachaji pesa watu wanaingia kwa kulipa sio bure uh, what i will answer about that is everything will live in the hand of god as uh, as you see these are all big stars right here and they are up rising star when they up rising star of course we start low and then we go up so as we go of course uh, we will, our our value will rise up more but we will not have value if you guys don't support us so your support will give us where we can go next so if you show us the support that you already shown us now we will know okay we're on this level we're going to move on to a different level so our our singers are not singers without 
you know, our people are support. So your support will tell us where to go and how we're going to pay, what price we're going to be paying, compared to our audience. Okay, thank you. Um, can you tell us something about that? Mm -hmm. The question was, because we have seen so many singers and you guys, you are doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. And we want to ask you, do you have any plan? Because some of this group, like Cardo is in Houston, here in Dallas, mm -hmm. is in normally in Dallas now. Man. So <laughs> my question is, do you have any plan on one day you can organize a very big event, like a big concert somewhere and people come and pay, pay not it. just coming for, mm. for free? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, we are organizing that. Um, it's coming very, very soon. Um, it's going to be a very, very big, 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 huge event. Um, everyone is invited to come again, but um, it's not going to be for free, like he said. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say Sidi nyingi zitakuwa zinatoka. Unaona mkubwa hapa anatoa mbili kwa mwaka. Unaona ni baraka hizi. Tuko na mwingine huyu dada hapa ambaye mnamuona huyu mashuhuri. Anapiga hapa yani akianza mngongoa wa Kiingereza hapa. Utazani ni Celine Dion huyu. Lakini Celine Dion wa Mungu. Sasa kwa kupitia swali yenyewe alituuliza kwa mpango wa Mungu vyote vyawezekana. Yes. Eh, Kaka Joshua, because this is your event. Yeah, I, I'm gonna let him talk. This is your event. Can you tell us something about that? Um, guys, what I'm gonna say is, uh, like Kado said, and then my sister Rema, what she said is, we have a lot of plan this new year. Kitu wama sema ni kwamba, sita kwambia ni kitu gani, cause mipango ni yetu, lakini jawabu ni la mungu. Kitu kumanda sema ni kwamba ni nyimbo nyingi, ambazo tunanda kufanya kolabo nyingi, na albumu zitatoka nyingi. Kwa hiyo kitu kumanda ambacho ninge kuomba ni kwamba, support is zako zitakuwa za muhimu kwanza. Utu support kwa kitu tunachokifanya na viko vingi kabisa na ushirikiano kama huu unafanya nguvu moja na kujua kwamba tunaweza kufanya kitu kiwa tukiwezeshwa na atakawezeshwa ni nyinyi ni nyinyi public so that's only guys okay swali so, hili ni kwa mchungaji mchungaji vikundi wa oh, vijana wetu wamesha hivyo wamefanya mazoezi wamekuwa salama mnaweza mkatuambia nini kama wachungaji mna mpango gani wa ku support hizi kundi hizi ili ziendelee zipate kufanya tamasha za international zitoke hapa waende kupiga Congo waende kupiga Australia waende kupiga Canada mna mpango gani kwa ajili ya hilo mchungaji asante sana kwa swali lako e, sisi kwanza tunashukuru sana kwa kazi vijana wetu wanazozifanya za kumwimbia bwana kwa kweli ni kazi nzuri sana Ata mandiko matakatifu yanatuambia kwamba kazi zote zitaisha hapa lakini uimbaji utaendelea hadi mbinguni ndio kazi moja tu ambayo itakayobakia eh upastor utaisha uinjilisti utaisha e, wapiga kayamba vinini wengine yani yote yatamalizika hapa lakini uimbaji ndio kazi ambayo itaendelea hadi mbinguni Na wakati vijana wetu wanavyojitolea kwa kumwimbia Mungu kwa kweli tuna furaha kubwa sana. Tuna furaha sana na tuna tuna moyo wa kuwasupport. Kulingana na hivyo tuna e, tuna mawazo ya kusema kwamba tuwatafutie watu ambao watawasupport kwa kila hali na mali ili kazi yao iendelee mbele. Kwa sababu tukipata au watu kwa kweli tunamini kwamba kazi ya uimbaji itaendelea na tutafanya mengine mazuri zaidi hapa. Ndio hivyo. Okay. Asante sana mchungaji kwa hayo machache ambayo nimetupatia na na, na, na jisikia kufarijika na ningauliza mchungaji kutoka upande wa Ayowa. Umeona uimbaji? Je, Ayowa kuna kundi kama hizi na kama hakuna una mpango gani ili waandae kundi kama hizi? Bremani shukrani kubwa sana kuona kijana wetu amefanya kazi nzuri kwa sababu inakuwa vigumu kwa muda huu kwa wakati huu uh, kwa hii wakati ambao tunaishi kupata vijana kama wao wengi inakuwa tu ni michezo kumtumikia Mungu inakuwa ni mchezo huku wako upande mwingine huku wako yani wako ngambo mbili mguu uko nje na mwingine uko ndani kwa hiyo inakuwa vigumu kumfanyia Mungu kazi ile lakini kwa kazi ambayo amefanya ajasema lakini ametenda na katika matendo amefanya kazi nzuri sana. Kwa hiyo ninashukuru sana na naomba watu wengine ambao wako katika Iowa au state nyingine hapa Texas au mahali pengine hapa Marekani wafuate mfano wake. Tuendelee kusapotiana uh, bila support hawezi kuendelea. Kwa hiyo 
mimi niko tayari kumsupport na naomba wewe ambayo na tuangalia kwa sasa hivi pia msapoti ili apate kuendelea na sio yeye tu na vijana wengine ambao wanamtumikia Mungu. Asante kuna swali la kizushi bwana e, mtumishi wa leo. Ninauliza, je uko na mke? Ah uh, mimi bado sijaoa. E, unaweza ukatuambia gharama uliyovaa ni pesa ngapi kwa leo? Ah uh, suti yangu ambayo nimevaa imechukua gharama 100 dola 500. Yeah. Kuanzia suti na kiatu ni 500 kama na 40 hivi. E, iyo, Tumeona vitu vingi naona, naona vitu vingi nauliza gharama uliovaa kwa leo ni angapi? Ya yeah, nikipiga toto general lote nafikia karibu 800, 800 kabisa. Yeah. Aya. Na umesema bado hujawa. Unaweza kutuambia kuna mpango wowote kwa sababu kuna madada hapo nje wanaangalia na wana. Wa, eh, hey, kuna mpango wowote kwa sababu eh hey, sijui kama utakuwa kama Paulo. Ah uh, ni kusema kwamba kuota wao lakini maandiko yanatuambia mke mwema na mume wanatoka kwake. Kwa hiyo tunajaribu kutulia tuone wale ambao wataambatana na karama zao ndani yetu wataweza kutunza na kulinda huduma iliyomo ndani yetu wenda wakatusaidia pamoja lakini ni lazima ntaoa. Yeah. Eh hey, kaka kado swali ni hilo hilo tu kizushi tu samani kwa hili. Kuna yuko dada? Mpango uko? Kama venye amesema mtumishi wa Mungu Joshua mke mwema na mwanaume anatoka kwa Mungu tumwachie hivyo Mungu afanye mambo yake huku ye ndo atamalizia mambo yake yote lakini kuoa tutaoa e, mtumishi umejisogeza hapa tunataka kujua majina unaitwa nani unafanya kazi gani ya yeah, kwa jina naitwa Asa ya na kwa jina naitwa Asa naitwa Asa Mbelechi mini president wa Oziana Bendi mm -hmm. Nimehoa mm -hmm. na mke mmoja mm -hmm. na watoto wawili mm -hmm. na mshukuru Mungu kwa kunipa kwa nehema kwa, kwa kunipatia ile neema. Unaweza washauri haja wa vijana wenye wanafanya kazi na wajao? Ya unajua kazi ni unajua kazi ya Mungu inaona inasaidiana na na huwe na mshauri. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Ya yeah. uwe na mshauri. Mshauri wa kwanza ni mke wa mtu. Watazamaji wetu na Ya yeah. mshauri wa kwanza ni mke wa mtu. Unapokuwa uko na mke unakuwa uko na ya unakuwa uko na mshauri wa kwanza wa kimwili yote ya Mungu ni inafanana na uwe na mshauri mshauri wa kwanza ni kuoa uwe na mke na kama jinsi unavyosema eti kuwa na mke mke anatoka kwa Mungu hawezi kukurupuka kwa hiyo anamuomba Mungu ili apate mke mwema Unajua yeye anafanya kazi ya, ya Mungu na anapaswa apate mke mwema. Kwa hiyo kwa muda atapata mke. Amen. Amen. Asante. Eh, asante sana mchungaji kwa kushiriki pamoja na sisi kwa hii maswali ya leo. Ni kazi tu ya Mungu. Tunauliza kulingana na kazi ambayo imefanyika leo. Wewe unaweza kushauri hawa vijana wafanye nini ili waendelee? Na nini umekiona kibaya ambacho usingependa kifanyike? Ushauri wangu kuhusu kazi ya Mungu kwa vijana ya kwanza ninawashukuru sana kwa huduma wanayofanya. Na tunapenda huduma ya vijana isonge mbele. Na kwa kweli kwa huduma ya vijana kusonga mbele wanaomba ushauri. Ushauri ya kwanza hata unachisikia kwenye huduma unajua sana usijiweke mjuaji. Ndio. Ukijiweka mjuaji unajiblock, unajifunga. Kwa sababu ukijiweka mjuaji Mwenye ngikongezea kamoja hata ongeza hata nishirisha jua. Kwa hiyo kama wewe unajua tisi, alama eh, tisini kwa mia na umekutana na mtu mwingine mwenye anajua alama ishirini kwa mia wewe jiweka ujui ili wa ishirini tena kongezee kengine upate ishirini na, na tisini na moja. Kwa hiyo huduma ya Mungu ni kushuka. Huduma ya, 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 ya vijana ni kushuka na ukubali au ja au jajua ili upate kujua zai, zaidi. Sijua kama nimejua sawa bwana. Asante eh, mchungaji kuna lingine ili la mwisho ni kulingana na kazi inayofanyika hapa tumeona kuna umuhimu wa hii kazi kwenda mbele. Hawezi kubaki Texas, hawezi kubaki America. Unaweza kutuambia nini kwa sababu tulikuwa tunafikiria nyinyi wachungaji mkiwaandaa vijana kama hawa watoke nje kama Canada kwenda kufanya tamasha. Wewe unaweza kusema nini ama utatuambia nini ili kwa zile ya maandalizi kama nayo? Eh, sisi kama wachungaji Iyo ni swali mzuri sana. Hata ni kwambie kazi yetu si wachungaji kuhusu hiyo huduma. Mchungaji wote wa kweli anayependa kazi ya Mungu. Unifate vizuri. Ni kama vile umeona mtu uko kwenye nyumba na huyo mtu anapiga misumari kwenye nyumba na wewe uko chini, umekaa chini. 
Badani tunakuambia nipatie hiyo misumari. Ili misumari kwa kumpatia ile agonge nyumba au takaa chini. Itaomba u, uinuke. Ili mpatie msumari agonge kule juu. Na unapoinuka au kai chini tena umeinuka. Sasa kazi yetu sisi ni watu wenye tunapana misumari. Wakati tunampandisha kijana kwenye huduma na wao mchungaji hutabaki chini. Kazi yetu ni kuinua vijana wasonge mbele. Ni kuwa, ni kuwa, wa, wa, watoa chini na kuwanyunyua. Watungaji wengi wanadanganyika. Kulikuni kuinua wa vijana ni kwa sukuma nyuma. Oki wa sukuma nyuma na wao mchungaji utabaki nyuma. Patea wajana huduma, warusu waende mbele, kanisa ichanga temichango kuwasaidia kuwapa kuwa supporti waende mbele. Na uchungaji utaishi, na mimi nikuwa mchungaji mbele, kwa sabi nikuwa kijana mbele, sasa mimi kumchungaji. Badae wachungaji wa wajana watatukomboa, waimbaji watatukomboa. Kesho watakuwa watungaji kama sisi. Kwa hiyo tusaputu wa vijana wa NDB. Asante na fikiri. Asante na mtangadazi kwa majina na hituwa Baros Elias Barwani. Nimeshukuru sana kupata na vasi hii kutoka kwa wako. Na natamani sana tena tukutane kama hivi. Uh, Soli ulio niuliza kulingana siku ya leo. Nimeshukuru sana kwa pande wangu kwa sababu. Ni kweli tumekusanyana vijana wote ambao tunalitukuza neno la Mungu. Tumefanya kazi ya Mungu imekuwa imependeza hapa machoni pake. Na kila mtu aliye na pumzi ya Mungu ni kweli alisema amina kwa sababu waliona kazi inavyoendelea. Na tumemshukuru na mimi kwa mawazo yangu binafsi ningesema kwamba sisi vijana wote tulioko ndani ya USA na nchi zingine tungefanya mchango mkubwa kwa kuweza kuelimisha vijana wengine ambao wana uwezo mdogo waweze nao kupata fursa ya kupanda ndio kupanda tena hata kuunda sehemu zingine uh, kundi zingine za za uimbaji ili kwamba na wao pia tuwa support waweze kuendelea na huduma kama hizi ninashukuru sana kupata nafasi hii na kutoa mawazo yangu na kuweza kushare lakini pia ninasema kwamba sisi waimbaji wote ambao tuko Kado, Joshua, Mimi Barosi aa, na wewe Ginsi Olivio na Rizo aa, ni kweli ni, ni swala la kusema kwamba tuchangie ili kwamba tuwe tunashare vitu e, kwa, kwa sababu watu na wao waone kwamba tunashare mambo ya Yesu tunaendea pamoja kwa sababu wote tunatamka neno la Mungu na Yesu ni ule mmoja na ndiye baba yetu na ndipo tunapoweza kutulisukuma ili huduma kwa, kwa pamoja ili kwamba tusukume vizuri na watu wote waseme kwamba Kwa wa jamaa wafanya kitu wa meshea na imekoa vizuri. Kwa hiyo kushea uduma ni solo la msingi. Ni meshukuru sana. Hi guys, this is LUG Band and we are at ATV. This is uh, Pastor Gift, uh, Elizabeth, they call us Lin Dion, but it's Rehema. And our brother Dunia, and uh, this uh, exactly uh, maybe I've seen us on Facebook sometimes singing in other places. You have not seen our CD yet, but don't worry, it's coming up very, very, very soon. By the end of 2019, oh, 2019, 2019, we already have our CD already, and we will have our songs, we already have our songs on YouTube. So pay attention to that, it won't be everything. And, and that here, that same here, this coming up on the same date as today, we will have have our concert just LUG concert and I know you guys have been asking about that for a long time so it's coming up very soon so we're gonna sing a little song before we go to uh, our, our pastor something about the group we're gonna sing a little song from you're gonna hear from us and then we'll continue will be mountains that I will have to fight and there will be battles that I will have to fight Victory or defeat, it's up to me to decide. But how can I expect to win if I never try? I just can't give up now. I come too far from where. Started from nobody told me the road would be easy, and I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. I, I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me 
the wrong would be easy and I don't believe he brought me this far to leave that was a little bit from us we're gonna give us the gift to tell you more about the LUG band praise God praise God Amen. Um, my name is gift as well I'm a peer drummer and we'll give you guys the best all the best and all the best if you welcome to our concert in 2018 by the end of this date december 31st by december 31st we're gonna have our own concert coming up you guys don't miss and we love you all thank you Uh, as I said, uh, my name is Junior, the piano player for LUG, and uh, I'm going to guarantee it that you guys will be very satisfied with our CD, so don't sleep on us. By the end of 2018, the same day, December 31st, as I said, the CDs are going to be out, and y'all should be prepared for the concert. Don't plan anything. You should plan it right now. You're going to be here <laughs> worshiping with us on December 31st. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna hear from our main singer. Actually, she's thinking about going solo pretty soon. She will have, uh, we will have our LUG CD, like you said, and LUG song, but also she's gonna have her own solo songs as a star herself. Here comes Rahima. Mm. Hi, yeah, as I say, my name is Rahima, and um, yes, I will be going solo very soon, but um, I'm still with LUG, and our concert will be on December 31st of 2018. Remember, just to come and show up, and you'll enjoy it. Yeah, and here's Elizabeth, our main dancer. She makes up all the dances that we do. So she's little, but she does it. So hear from her. Uh, hi, my name is Elizabeth, the best dancer in the world. <laughs> and um, I got a YouTube channel, um, Lizzie Ill, L I Z Z Y I L. And you guys go over there, subscribe, like, and all my videos. You'll love it. Um, and also, I'll. Um, I'm an LUG. I'm the lead dancer, I guess. Yeah. And then I I make up most of the dances, and you guys come to our um, concert yep. December 31st. 31st. And uh, don't miss it, or else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You have a good day.